Brain education for our youth means hope. I was very emotional, even though I wouldn't always express it. Anything could sway me, left or right. I would be excited, I would be depressed, I'd be angry, anxious, whatever it was. And so brain education helped me really ground and center my emotions. I was a scared, angry, up and coming fashion designer and I found myself through brain education. I'm Ian Martin. I'm originally from Englewood, New Jersey. I live in Sedona, Arizona and I'm a program coordinator at Sedona Mago Retreat. So the way I found brain education was basically I was designing clothes. I had a fashion brand and to fund the production of the clothes, I was working weekends at a country club as a server and I had to wear a tuxedo and I had to get that tuxedo clean. So I went to the cleaners with my friend and she saw a poster for children's yoga on the wall. And she had a nephew who was really not in the best uh, shape. He's a little depressed and sad. And so we took him to the children's yoga the next day. And within five minutes of him going with the brain education instructor in the classroom, I looked in the window. He went from total frown to totally laughing, doing a handstand on the wall with his feet up in the air, along with the instructor. And that's when I thought, I'll try this. I need some of that, whatever this happiness is. I'll try anything once. So I decided to go to my first class on a Friday, um, which was a vibration class. So we moved our body a lot, a lot of dancing, sweating so much, loud music but it felt so good to move without being judged. Um, and then uh, I just felt so much energy in the class. We laid down, felt so much energy. And that's when I realized I wanted to keep going with this. I really wanted to keep feeling. I wanted other people to feel this energy that I was able to feel. Brain education helped me change a lot in a lot of ways. Um, I was very lost very angry, scared, very confused, narrow-minded. Even though I was open-minded, the way I did things was very narrow-minded. I was very emotional, even though I wouldn't always express it. Anything could sway me, left or right. I would be excited, I'd be depressed, I'd be angry, anxious, whatever it was. And so brain education helped me really ground and center my emotions, really focus my mind to be a lot more flexible. Of course, I'm still working at it, but it's helped me so much. I couldn't smile when I started brain education. They had, I, I was reminded maybe 10 times a day to keep smiling when I would ever go to the brain education center. And um, now I can smile whenever I want. And Physically, it's helped me relieve a lot of tension that I held here. I think I tried to protect myself a lot. A lot of tension in my back and shoulders has released. My breathing, my ab, uh, intestines, internal organs, my brain, everything is you know feeling a lot better. I couldn't touch my toes before. My back is a lot more flexible now. So overall, I feel much better, much healthier. My energy feels cleaner, brighter. Brain education for our youth means hope. I use that word a lot, hope, because I feel like we're given a lot of information now, a lot of Instagram personalities, influencers, entertainers, and we have formal education, a classic education system in America, which is kind of outdated. Um, and so brain education, not neuroscience, but teaching us how to use our brain, how to control our emotions, use our bodies that are connected to our brains. Our brain really controls everything in our life. And um, so I feel brain education through all the different principles and methods can really help us to take control of our lives, especially as youth, as the future leaders of this world. 
we should really have that down pack before we start making big decisions like guiding other people or putting systems in place. We should really know ourselves, know our brains. My favorite part of brain education would have to be Sleeping Tiger or Donjon tapping. Anything that has to do with Donjon, your second chakra, lower abdomen, grounding your energy, that has been like my lifesaver. So anything that helps you really ground yourself and grow the energy in your second chakra, I'm all for it. I tell everybody who I teach, who I work with, my friends, if you don't do anything else, at least ground your energy, bring it to your second chakra. Everything will make sense from there. Any exercise that has to do with grounding helped me so much. Uh, I was very creative, but thinking a lot, not always in my body. Now, I would worry about my physical body. I was in shape, I'd lift weights, but I wasn't inside my body, taking care of my organs, my joints, my everything. And so grounding really helped me to snap out of it, snap out of my, my thoughts and come back to reality. And that helped me be a lot happier be a lot more compassionate, more empathetic with my family, with my friends, treat people better, treat myself better. And so I think any, any positive change you want to make really starts with grounding and coming back to like this kind of zero point right in the center. From there, you can create anything, any kind of change you want. If I could give a message to my teenage self who was lost, confused, emotional, lonely, I would definitely say look for help ask for help ask the questions that you may be afraid to ask keep your hope that you'll get help and then from there you can begin to become the person who you want to become i hope everybody watching this can find a passion and not just something that they've been doing for a long time but something that really connects with them don't be afraid to try a bunch of new things and be open-minded, live your life open, and then find that thing that really connects with your heart, with your soul. And then from there, you can begin to create the life that you want. I was a scared, angry, up-and-coming fashion designer, and I found myself through brain education.